Robert Becker Bluegrass Bushcraft. I think I'm finally finished with my tiny camper build. Hey, let's check out the final touches. All right, add a couple of additions to the back door. Got my buddy Bigfoot there. And a small Kentucky plaque. Okay, I got the um, treated two befores on and uh, put the brown astral turf on them to mount the canoe to. Got a strap going across the top on each end. And back here I've got a uh, ratchet and tie down all the way down I drilled a hole through this aluminum channel and I put a spacer the width of the inside dimension in there and uh, put a uh, 5 8 bolt through it and the spacer will keep the aluminum where it's uh, softer metal it would have squeezed in when I bolted that down so I put the spacer in there to keep it keep it solid but that gives me something to hook my ratchet tie down to. On this end, um, had the tongue sticking out there, so I just came straight down and ratcheted it down to the tongue. And also have another tie down. These are not the ratchet type, they're just the pull kind. But uh, it's on our secure, it's not going nowhere. Okay, I ran into a little issue. Now, last time I used this, uh, we had a lot of rain that this spring and um, got this thing really muddy so I brought it home to the power washer and I was washing the mud off the sides and the wheels didn't think nothing else about it I parked it hadn't been in these compartments until yesterday and uh, opened them up opened them up and the two compartments on this side both of these had been flooded everything I had in there was soaking wet and uh, First time I'd have done that since I put the top on it. I mean, it's not leaking from the top, but I got to looking what had happened. This door, these two doors on this side, somebody must have put too much weight on them and bowed them out just a little bit. I straightened them out just a little bit. I've got them back in closer, and uh, but they were bowed out and they both had a pretty good, decent gap in there where the water was getting in when I pressure washer it, it just it just flooded inside of that compartment but anyway I tried to straighten it out a little bit I got I got it better than it was and I tinkered with the strike plate up here and I adjusted it back a little bit and I got it where it will pull against the seal now and this seal pretty neat little seal it's got a channel to drain the water away so uh, it doesn't seal real tight when I close it but when I lock it it pulls it back even tighter and it pulls it tight against that seal and done the same thing to the other door and um, hopefully that'll take care of it and then plus just for precaution I got this piece of uh, channel aluminum and uh, it just snapped in there perfect behind them uh, little clips for the original cover on this thing. And I ran a bead of silicone down it. And so any water coming down the sides, hopefully most of it will channel out through that channel through the end instead of down to the door. So between me working on that strike plate and bending the doors back and adding that channel on, hopefully I'll be good there from here on out. Okay, got the inside finished. Alyssa made me some camouflaged curtains last night. That was pretty cool. And uh, she's gonna make me a, a pillow or two of the same material put in here. So uh, kind of excited for that. Took me a while just working on it here, working on it there, but I got it all done. Got my carpet laid, glued down. 
not too shabby. Okay, I got that Pioneer Blend um, 1850 Folgers Coffee from uh, Terry Milburn up in Canada. Got it in here waiting on the spring meat. Figured if I put it out here, I was less likely to likely to dig into it before then. So if I keep it in the house. I'll be drinking it. Okay, for the time being, we got that little uh, can of fire extinguisher there. I'll either make a shelf similar to this to uh, put it in, or um, I'll either replace it all together and get a better one with a bracket that hangs on the wall. I will have a fire extinguisher. So I will have my do have my little alcohol burner in here for my coffee station there. All right, let me get my mattress back in here and I'll curl in here and we'll check out this coffee station. Okay, over here, got my Mora mounted. It's mounted securely. Got my Ontario Rat 2 Rat Attack. Small machete or large knife, whatever you want to call that. I got it mounted there beside it. There by the door where I can get to them. Oh yeah, got this uh, vintage uh, Craftsman Bucks Hall there. Uh, I just mounted it there on my back door. Hooked some uh, bungee straps to it to hold it in place so it don't bounce out of there coming down the road. So uh, that stays there. Got something handy to cut my firewood with. Yeah, I put a cup hook there for my keys at the end of the coffee station by the door there. So. I'll just hang them there, get them on my pocket, and have them out of the way. Side, the corner, I have my small flashlight handy, my headlamp, and uh, another more Eldris, a little fire striker. It's always hanging here in by the door, easy to get to, easy access. Turn this light on. All right, there's a close up of my camouflage curtains Melissa made me. She's handy with needle and thread. Okay. Down here at the end, got my alcohol burner and stove. Bottle of alcohol. Got plenty of Folgers. It's my canteen and cup for heating my water. There's my GSI cup. Got creamer and sugar. So let me show you how my coffee station is set up. All right, there's my table. Just pull the handle, lower it. Got the piano hinge back there. Got the little edge right there that folds against the wall, keeps it stable. Pretty neat little setup right there. Okay, there's the uh, coffee setup all on the table. Got my alcohol burner, like a generic Trangia. Brother Ray bought that for me several years ago. I put the uh, little grate I made, bent the tabs down, that went on a computer fan. And uh, so there's my coffee set up on a cold, rainy morning when I don't want to get out of the bed. Make my coffee right here in bed. All right, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.